Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of Bilvavi Mishkan Evne. The Hisbainanus, the a person setting aside time on their own privately between them and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to be able to engage themselves in the thought process of how HaKadosh Baruch Hu literally takes care of everything in their life. Zois Va'id, furthermore, he says, Naisav al Zu. Add on to this his bonus to this introspection. Not only should a person sit and think about these things, they should actually express them with their words. As all of their thoughts, and they need to review many times about on these things, this amuna, this faith that we have. Only HaKadosh Baruch is the one that solidifies and puts every detail of our life into place. Go back over the details. One detail after the other. With great patience. This idea when you speak it out, as we're going to describe, it has a tremendous impact on the person when you review the ideas, when you go slowly through all the things that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does for you and has done for you and continues to do for you. It makes the Amuna real. Yesh Bekach Beis Aifanim, there are two ways that a person can accomplish this. Oy, she'yidah be'loshen HaKadosh Baruch Hu ve'ekol prat ve'kover prat zeh. Either a person can say it in this way, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he decides every detail, and every detail is set by him. Kleimar, what does that mean to say? It's a third person type of a language that you're using over here. It's more concealed, so to speak. He's calling him HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem is the one who made made my wife. Hashem is the one who, who gave me my, my place of residence. Hashem is the one who gave me my, my Parnassah. That's one way to say it, and that's good. However, you could speak in a much closer, intimate way. And say the following, You, Hashem, are the one that made my zivug, made my wife. And you are the one that decided, this is the house I'm going to live in. Kloima, what does that mean to say? In an intimate, in a personal type of a way. Says the says Bilvavi, the advantage of when you speak in this personal way, he is a very lofty level. This is the purpose of man. A person should be living present and in front of and intimate with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And therefore, when you speak to him in those terms, the endearing, you HaKadosh Baruch are the one who decided who my wife is going to be. You HaKadosh Baruch are the one who decided where I'm going to live. You HaKadosh Baruch you are the one who gave me, <coughs> excuse me, who gave me my Parnassah and the like. It's all you, Rebbeinu Shailam. So you are creating an intimate close relationship with Hashem that is not distant, it is not hidden, it is not something where HaKadosh Baruch is, is outside of you and far away from you. He's right there. As we say, Shivchi kamayim libeich noichach p'nei Hashem. Pour out your heart like water noichach in front of the Rebbein Hashem before Hashem. That's the goal. We want to be close to Hashem. And therefore he writes, Ulam, Misha'ata, however, someone who now in the beginning of his working on this, it's hard for him. Sometimes it's hard to be so personal with HaKadosh Baruch. He seems so distant, so far away. Me, Ani, who am I to speak so intimately with HaKadosh Baruch? Then right now you should speak in the more hidden, concealed type of a way where you're talking to HaKadosh Baruch in the third person. And eventually, Be'ez Hashem, as we shall see, you'll work your way up to that place where you can speak to Hashem from the bottom, purest place of your heart, and you say, you are Kodesh Baruch, are the one that is responsible for every single detail in my life. Have a wonderful day, and a wonderful Chodesh, and a wonderful Shabbos.